Dr. Arvind Navale has been working as the head of the Department of English in uh, Shivaji Mahavidyalaya Udgir, which is affiliated to SRTM Nanded University in Maharashtra. And he is also a very uh, resourceful scholar. And uh, he's, uh, he also works as a resource person in various conferences and seminars. Uh, he has audited texts are there. Uh, eight textbook for university syllabus and 35 critical books and anthologies he has edited. Uh, out of 41 books, near 25 books are subscribed by the world's 150 plus renowned overseas libraries, including USA, UK, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Australia, Germany, France, Canada, and so on. So such a wonderful uh, uh, resource person is with us, but uh, uh, we are very sorry that uh, because of uh, time restraint, we may not be in a position to give much time to Dr. Ravin Navale, sir. But uh, definitely in future, we will... Uh, uh, call him back for one more say, I mean, session as the resource person, separate uh, resource person for one separate session. So, may I request Dr. Arvind Navale, sir, to sum up uh, these two, two sessions. Over to Dr. Arvind Navale, sir. Sir, please unmute yourself. Unmute, unmute, sir. You are mute now. Navale, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. I hope I am audible as well as visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Uh, the organizing team of uh, this e-conference on problems uh, and remedies of online teaching of English language and literature in rural areas. Uh, Dr. S. M. Warkar, principal of Shivaji College, Rajura, good friend of mine. Conveners, Mr. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Yes. And Completely Mr. audible. Yes, and Sunday. Keynote speaker and very good friend of mine, Professor Dr. Rajabhu Bidre, Director UGC HRDC, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur University Sagar, Dr. Evle, the panelist and the speaker of this session, Dr. Chakravarti Kirunagiri and Dr. Joseph Dayat from Philippines, and uh, the esteemed participants and viewers. A very good afternoon to one and all. I listened to both sessions. I also went through some chat post questions and some statements made here in this discourse, which can be put in nutshell as the face-to-face -face teaching or learning cannot be replaced with online remote teaching or learning as well as will not yield expected results or outcomes. I strongly agree with this, and I am also of the same opinion, no doubt. However, it seems that teachers as well as students who were or are teaching, learning <coughs> through traditional mode till that are afraid of with the sudden shift to online education and increase the demand to maintain excellence in e-learning environments, thinking that there is no escape from it and they have to continue it permanently and are in bitter confusion that what will happen of education? What will happen with its quality? What will happen with their profession? What will be the future of the students? And host of like issues. Here in this regard, I would like to minimize your confusion by differentiating between regular online mode teaching learning and emergency based or remote teaching learning. The regular online mode Teaching is being imparted through well equipped studios and labs of the colleges and universities or the institutions by equally trained teachers and students voluntarily opted. We have to give emphasis here today on an emergency based the remote teaching learning through PCs, laptops, tabs, or Android mobile phones that we are practicing in this lockdown under the government policy of work from home which is not voluntarily opted by students or a teacher, but is imposed by the corona pandemic and where we have no option than this to meet and cope up with present situation. Hence, what I think that, what and where today we have to give prominence in discussion is problems and remedies of such emergency based remote teaching, which is caused due to the COVID-19 outbreak, <laughs> as it is not possible for either of us 
to conduct or attend classes in traditional mode. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, schools, universities, and colleges have closed worldwide, affecting around 98, 98 of the world's teacher-student population. There is no alternative for us to opt online mode till to the coming back of the normalcy. When everything will be all right? When we again will join our normal schedule? When airports, railways and metro stations and bus stops will be full of passengers? Looking at increasing order in the graph of COVID-19 positive cases everywhere, we can't answer this question. Today morning when I was watching news on TV, I found that largest record uh, breaking COVID positive cases were recorded okay. yesterday. That's why when the normal civil restore is not certain, the restrictions like lockdown and social distancing are not allowing us to go to colleges and university. Only this is the reality. <laughs> Just four months before, none of us would have thought or imagined that in the 20th century where progress in medical science has helped to transform healthcare and prolong our lives, where it has extended its wings so far and sought out remedies of almost all problems of human healthcare, healthcare till a mere virus can alter our entire life and disturb our lifestyle. We all are in mental dilemmas. We don't know about what is happening and what the next will happen is equally doubtful. Until now, it is clear that we have to build up strategies to cope up with this virus and this pandemic. We have to enter in a new world. Here, adaptation is the key to success. The old proverb, survival of the fittest, will shift to survival of the quickest because whoever will quickly adapt the new systems, new techniques, would only exist properly. As this pandemic has imposed on us the need to redefine our lifestyle, it also imposed on us a need to redefine our resources mode of our educational deliveries. Now onward, even though we are not interested, we have not only to think about online teaching learning, but also to be well equipped, well versed in different online tools, techniques and resources, as there is no alternative. <coughs> we have to change this chaotic situation into an opportunity. We know very well that all of us are suddenly pushed into this unfamiliar mode of teaching by this global pandemic. And what I think that we have to present ourselves as all living, all living gurus. We should have to adopt new educational technologies to meet the desired goals of teaching learning in this situation of crisis. And there is no alternative for it, what I think. So, we live in a global world where our the existence depend now on our knowledge of using English as well as technology. Thus, getting well versed in English along with technology is need of the present time. <coughs> and if it seems this corona, coronavirus made it mandatory for us, while this does not pose a problem in metropolitan cities and towns, <coughs> people in rural, rural areas would face some problems as there is still a major chunk of civilization divided of the development in terms of language and technology. We have to use different online teaching aids and how to discover ways of how our pedagogical styles along with techniques may work wonders in our teaching in this time. Leave the bygone days. Leave the term sage on stage. Leave the term chuck and talk. These are outdated now. Things have changed today. With the advances and the expectations of the world, today we need to have specialized teachers in every subject, even in rural area. This is because of the increased level of competition and the anxiety to survive and sustain in a fast changing world. The importance of English teaching and learning has become manifold now. As regards English teacher, our roles are not confined now only to a hard task masters or the chuck and tuck or the sage on the stage, but we are supposed and expected to be felicitators, trainers, counselors, managers and guides of the students. 
English teachers teaching in rural area often face the non availability of required technical support and relevant atmosphere to do teaching is effectively. That's why we find English teaching and learning in rural India is still weak. In reality, the reasons for this dreary atmosphere are the rural areas lack proper MBS and affordability which cater to the changing need and expectations. In addition, the paying capacities of people in rural area also add to the melody of learners. Moreover, undeniably, in many Indian states, English language teaching is confined to the verbal rendering of lessons in regional languages, helping learners to understand the content and not the structural sides of the language. Most of rural populace <coughs> depends on agriculture and limited income, which make them unaffordable and hence deprived from the quality education. Both parents and students emphasize simply on passing examinations just to climb the ladder of a higher class. As a result, students continue to carry the lapses of English throughout their lives. It is here that the knowledge, the role of innovative teachers become quite essential. An effective teacher having technical knowledge can prove himself as a tool in transformation of students even in such types of pandemic times. Teachers as well as students from the rural area do not get the appropriate atmosphere and infrastructure which is required for online or remote mode teaching learning. As detailed by Dr. Joseph Dayag, the significance of C's like communication, commitment, collaboration, and so on, that lacks in rural area. Lack of proper infrastructure, power cuts, unstable net connectivity, inadequate teaching staff with technical <coughs> deficiencies, limited resources, unaffordability, these are some of the problems of online mode of teaching of English language or literature or any subject in rural areas. More online courses require good time management skills. Online courses make you more dependent on tools and techniques or net and other things. Along with this, students are accessing laptops or mobile screens for more time. The parents are worried about the ill effects of their exposure to the screen for many hours. They are expected to write notes from the WhatsApp screen. These things are also adding to the mess of online teaching learning in the rural areas. How do we tackle these things is a problem. However, in this pandemic and prolonged lockdown, we must find the remedies to overcome the problems of teaching English to the rural students. Technology, <coughs> which nowadays is uniting force, can help in facing these challenges. These challenges have to be transformed into reality. If remedies are implemented in the appropriate manner, the obstacles in the online teaching learning English will be removed. The university and college authorities should provide infrastructure needed for online teaching to all teachers. Even the government too should develop and provide educational tabs, specially created affordable internet plans to bona fide and economically weaker socially background class students. It will not only help but inspire the rural students to learn English effectively. The teaching and learning process will become a matter of enjoyment and happiness for both teachers and the learners. To my observation, even rural students are very interestingly using technology. The spreading hands of technology in this in their day-to-day -day lives have enabled them to compete with others. The computers, tabs, Android cell phones, and innumerable guardians have made them more enthusiastic and interesting. I have seen them using it. There are some very good online platforms which are either free or affordable even to the rural students and teachers. For example, Google, YouTube, where we will get everything the rural students are also found using Skype, which is a video conferencing software which lets you speak face to face 
with your peers even dropbox which is used to share documents with your groups and keep work in one place using the file hosting service let us have a look at how technology can facilitate online that is remote mode teaching english in even rural areas one cannot guarantee 100% success of this type of teaching english through technology yet we can reach to our desired goals through technology as we have no option to online mode of teaching in this pandemic google classroom zoom google meet webex zoom meet are some of the easily available affordable and probably free and usable technological platforms resources that we can use for online teaching google classroom allows you to create your virtual class with your students the zoom google meet webex zoom meet whatsapp telegram groups help you connect with your students or classes a computer laptop or even a smart mobile phone can facilitate online teaching learning in a rural area now the efficiency of these devices depends upon the creativity and desire of teachers <coughs> a technical savvy teacher can also encourage students to learn english <coughs> with more enthusiasm to such online modes the lessons modules selected for these purposes should be user friendly as stated by dr joseph dayang in his talk as well as they should be interesting and uh, interactive too just like group discussion group assignments use of related audio video clips along with uh, uh, our presentations and the talks a regular evaluation and feedbacks of student should be supplemented to it such exercises can give you wonderful results though we are not accustomed to online teaching learning we can make the best of it in this lockdown situation such endeavors of teachers can make every classroom every event cool and the english teacher will feel a sense of achievement the youtube social networking and other websites are no more remainder a romantic illusion even to the rural areas <coughs> online teaching of english literature like plays of shakespeare marlowe webster like poetry of wordsworth selly kids like essays of byron and so on would be more enjoyable what i think so in one sense i am also of opinion that online teaching is more affordable than traditional one in one sense for example ask the organizing team of this international e conference how many they spent on this event and how many they saved what would they have been estimated cost of this event including travel lodging food stage arrangement printing etc the two host speakers three state speakers having approximately more than 1000 km distance it would have costed more than 2 to 3 lakh rupees to organize this event but what is actual expenditure one zoom one zoom pro plus webinar software package subscription of rupees 4200 what i think so in which dr varkar sir has conducted uh, mm. around a dozen of quality events even though we minimize it to half basically six event and divided by 4200 what would it have been costed but the even if we, it got conducted physically it would have costed more than 3 lakh in last month i have organized a one two day international conference in my institution with 338 panelists inviting them from all corners of the globe at cost of only 4 to 5000 only one more as it, it was mentioned by professor dr bedre sir and i too know it very well that how wonderfully he has organized a wonderful different courses for faculties under fps from his uges hrdc <coughs> through online mode so wonderfully this your this present too is well organized and seems flawlessly what is needed to conduct anything online <coughs> or teach or learn online i think is enthusiasm and a dedication then whatever the geographical background there may be whether urban or the rural as far as rural area is concerned even mobile phone which have 
become common even in rural areas can work as a remedy to many challenges of such emergency like pandemic <coughs> i can't believe that a teacher can't afford laptop and even that students or parents can't afford android cell phones here in this context one point is needed by all of us to consider seriously that there are primarily two types of online teachings one is the synchronous online teaching in which type of teaching a real real time online teaching experience is expected uh, which include this includes fix the time table uh, with time bound sessions where both the teachers and the students have to be online at a fixed time as per the time table and the second type of online teaching is called uh, asynchronous in this time uh, courses are not uh, conducted in real time this means that engagement between the teacher and the student can occur as per their convenience uh, recorded training sessions are the good example of such the mess of confusion we are facing today is due to that we are our teaching is not planned on planned online teaching university is issuing circular stating online classes should be started from so and so date the principal has no alternative to follow university orders he also has to do the same and teachers are creating whatsapp groups of plus year students for example first year students naming the group as sy online teaching group student are also feeling happy to get promoted without result or admissions and online teaching is going on in full swing as per whims and personal <coughs> conveniences of teachers some students are opting this class and other that as per their whims and personal conveniences and to be honest with you this is the true picture of online classes <coughs> being observed everywhere in our state as per as our uc and pg education is concerned then how to come out of it this is the question and probably most agreeable answer would be to wait up to the declaration of results and completion of online admission process then opt and implement the synchronized type of online or remote or you may say teaching from the home prepare proper time table the government should allow us to adjust workload in such a way that a student should not be imposed to attend more than four to five classes per day with proper intervals teachers should adjust their units in order to cover curricula in such type of time line and this is the adjustable above all and it will last probably till the normalcy of corona outbreak only i will never say that teaching online is more effective than teaching face to face i will never dare to say to eliminate the use of textbooks instead rather i will say that all technical gadgets and tools are mere substitutes of the books all courses the substitutes if adopted properly to make language teaching more relaxed rather than difficult more friendly rather than unapproachable and more creative than the goal oriented rather than disorganized consider this is an emergency based remote teaching what i said would like to repeat consider this is an online teaching but as an emergency based remote teaching caused due to corona pandemic don't deny the fact that visuals speak more than words convert this crisis convert these challenges into an opportunity make teaching learning more fruitful make teaching learning more efficient empower your student with knowledge through technology and empower yourself too thanks thank you my friend principal dr varkar sir and all team members for inviting me happy to be part of this international event thank you sir thank you namaste thank you thank you so much sir uh for sharing your ideas and uh, for your informative talk definitely we will uh, hear you once more whenever there will be uh, an academic activity like seminar or conference uh, organized by our department in the near future 
and uh, thank you all the speakers and uh, i hope to have same kind of cooperation from all of you so we are moving to the last part of this e conference that is uh, uh, vote of thanks but before i go for vote of thanks for participant there is a notice i must inform the participants that uh, feedback link uh, will be shared uh, soon after the conclusion of this conference and uh, but the link will be functional for only one hour so uh, be very alert and uh, uh, fill out the feedback within scheduled time we have posted one pdf document containing a registration number of all the participants and while filling out the feedback form you will have to enter uh, your registration number so kindly check out to what is your registration number before filling out that uh, feedback form so now i request dr r r kirani iqs member and vice principal of our college to propose vote of thanks for this international e conference sir unmute karo aap unmute yourself sir vice principal kirani sir unmute unmute your microphone unmute unmute please unmute yourself sir you are you are not audible kirani sir hello unmute yourself sir please your your mic is muted please unmute it sir karan sir aapka aapka mute sir bol yes sir now 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 carry on okay 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 i am audible you are audible audible yes. but not visible okay thank okay not visible So now let me continue okay okay sir okay thank you very much okay, a very sir. good afternoon to all of you it gives me an immense pleasure to propose the word of thanks on behalf of our esteemed institutions for this international e conference to all dignitaries and participants assembled here online i dr rajesh kharani vice principal of the college going to present word of thanks my special and heartful thanks to president of the conference dr rajesh shivle sir head department of english ckt college new panvel mumbai he has inaugurated this e conference and in his speech he has put his remarks and discuss on say topic in simple way thank you very much sir i would like to thanks dr rt bidri sir director ugc hrdc he uh, uh, dr hari singh gaur university sagar mp um, his uh, keynote address has given lots of different remedies of online teachings in rural areas sir you honored this function with your inspirational thoughts thank you very much i would like to uh, further extend um, uh, and hearty thanks to resource persons uh, and the friends of all of us dr kalyan Ch uh, chakravarti sir a visiting professor in india and abroad he has discussed on a various aspect of online learning in his unique style it was really a productive discussion for all participants thank you very much sir my deep sense of appreciation and thanks to second resource person dr joseph dea faculty st paul university philippines for his valuable thoughts on the topic in a unique way and awareness on different lacuna and challenges in online learning and training process thank you very much sir i extend my sincere thanks to dr arvin nevle sir he has given his remark as a chairperson of both technical session and guide us well on topic thanks sir for giving your valuable time and thoughts i take this opportunity to specially express my deep regards and gratitude to sri sudhakar rao kundojua president of adi shikshan prasarak mandal rajura and all respected directors of aspm for always encouraging us and providing opportunity to organize such event i would propose my special thanks to our beloved principal dr s m worker sir for his vision and commitment towards academic works and its executions sir you have set high benchmark for ourselves and never said die attitude which help us to do best of best for our institutions thanks a lot sir i would like to take a moment to acknowledge the immense contributions of our dedicated english department led by hod s venkatramana and faculty mr sanjay shende they have taken all efforts 
to success this first international e conference in the history of our institutions and our college sri shivaji arts commerce and science college thanks heartful thanks to mr sanjay shinde sir for his attractive anchoring he is the best moc means master of ceremony of our college thank you very much my thanks to all team members of the event especially dr malesh reddy iqsc coordinator dr sarika sabde and all organizing and iqsc team members of the college i extend my sincere thanks to dr rahul deshmukh for all kind of technical support my deep sense of appreciation and thanks to all participants who have joined this e conference from every corner of the country and abroad who chose uh, to be alive with us and attended the conference with great interest and actively registered their views in live chat and made event successful thank you very much to all hope the same response from your side in future to request all to register your feedback within one hour as what the mr sanjay shinde said after completion of this event we provide feedback links very soon uh, uh, dear friends in worldwide panic covid pandemic situations i request and pray for all of you to stay at home be safe and take care the conference ends with national anthem of our loved india request all of you to stand up in your place to honor the national anthem request one once again to all of you don't recite with me just listen thank you very much please stand up all of you for national anthem जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविण उच्चल व्यंग विंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्जल जल दित रंग तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाए तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विदाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे भारत माता की जय भारत माता थैंक यू जय भारत थैंक यू वंस अगेन Jai thank you once again to all thank you so much everybody thank you thank you sir thank you i'm leaving now okay thank you